Yeah. yeah. Great. Great. All right. So up next, uh, we have our second augmented reality uh, application of, of the day. Um, and it really represents kind of what I like about um, the engineers that we build here at Full Stack and Grace Hopper, which is you can take a technology that's not totally mature and just run with it uh, and just use your creative problem solving skills to just, you don't know how you're going to build it at the start. You don't know if it's even possible, but you end up getting it done. Uh, and this seems really emblematic of it. It is build and go. Hi, my name is Sarah Wooten and this is Anna Sanchez, Danielle Howard, and NG Song. And we created Build and Go, an augmented reality mobile app that lets the user search the world around them through their camera for parts to build a race car. Once the user finishes gathering their parts, they can try their luck at racing. We decided to build this app because we wanted to expand our stack to include a mobile framework and learn how to use augmented reality, or AR. This technology is what allowed us to superimpose computer-generated images into the real world. To create Build and Go, we used React Native, Viro Media for AR, React Navigation to navigate through the app, and Redux to manage state. And now Danielle will tell you how to play the app. Thank you. To start playing, a user creates an account, saving it to the database. They are then routed to a home screen showing them instructions on how to play. Clicking Start Searching begins the AR experience. Once their camera opens up and they see the world around them on their screen, they are able to search for parts by moving their camera around. Once they find a part, all they have to do is tap it and it adds it to their inventory. Once they have parts added to their inventory, we send the updated inventory data to our server using React Redux. When researching different AR toolkits, we had a couple of different options. Given our two-week deadline, we wanted to do something that leveraged our already strong knowledge of JavaScript. We decided to go with Vira Media because as of February this year, they offered support for AR core development with React Native. And now, Anna's gonna tell you more about the infrastructure of our application. Thank you. Our database to manage user inventory and parts was developed in Express, SQLize, PostgreSQL, and deployed to Heroku. The images for parts are hosted by AWS. The decision to fetch data from AWS and Heroku was made to scale our list of parts efficiently. An inventory is formed by an association between user and part models, and each part is associated with a type. When the user logs in, a call is made to our API via Axios to establish a user inventory state in Redux. The parts a user has collected are rendered on the inventory page, and the app determines a car is complete when the user has collected at least one of every type of part. And now, here's Undi to tell you more about how we use AI technology with React Native. Thank you, Anna. One challenge we faced was learning how to navigate between AR and non-AR view. We were ultimately able to do this by pairing React Navigation Library with Viral AR Navigation. We could connect our database for our current inventory and parts to, parts to appear on their AR screen. Now, let's check out racing. Once user finds all the parts they need to build their car, they receive a pop-up that they have completed their car and are ready for racing. After clicking the button to start, the AR video will appear on their screen. We made sure to get AR vi viral AR video according to the user's current standpoint. We move on to the result component, which we can navigate either AR for racing again or inventory component full of parts that the user just collected. For our project, we learn several new tools and work very hard in a team, and we are very proud of it. You can check out our app by going to our GitHub repository. Thank you. Yeah, I, I thought uh, this was a really innovative use of um, just like the, the entire idea of these AR games where you're going around collecting stuff 
and um, I just I I loved it a lot. Um, I, it's it's so much better than just adding points and just collecting things just for the hell of it. Um, and so yeah, I, I think they did a did a did a fantastic job. Um, I would love to. I mean, I, I guess I don't know anything about cars, so maybe this this app could actually help me uh, learn more about how things work underneath. One, but, one interesting thing I, I heard too was that you know figuring out navigation and between like web views and then AR views, it's interesting. Like you know, there's probably a lot of things in the AR world that people are just still figuring out for the first time, much less. And so there's no there's no design patterns, which I, which I like because I feel like that's a kind of chance for you to. Um, Really think, really think about, about a problem from its first principles. Right. Yeah, and and they were using Viro Media, which is the second app we've seen today using Viro Media, um, which is a brand new framework. Are they sponsoring today's demo? There, figure out to get in touch with them. All right. Yeah. No. I think someone saw seen that Ready Player One. And all these projects were like, man, this is it's the beginning of the future. Right. Twenty forty five deadline.